OPS started out as a way to document endangered species. There's all these creatures that are just on the brink. And you can throw up your hands very easily and say, well, it's too big of an issue, but you know what? There's a few people doing great things. You know, Joel Sartori's work is some of the most fabulous work I've ever seen. Can we lift his chin up a little bit for me, please? <laughs> PhotoArk's my 20-year attempt to photograph every captive species on Earth to get the public to care and save them while there's still time to do so. And a lot of times these pictures I do are the only national coverage these animals will ever get before they go extinct. This is it. This is their one chance. This is the very last dusky seaside sparrow, last wild-caught bird. There's another sparrow just down the road, the Florida grasshopper sparrow, that's very near extinction. You hear something? That's a grasshopper sparrow. 91% of this prairie habitat is gone. Mm -hmm. We're roughly around 20 sparrows a year. 20? 20. From 150 to 20. So it's getting harder every year to find the bird, huh? I really hope these pictures I do aren't just some sort of an archive of the things we lost, but instead it's a chance to get people interested, get them to look these animals in the eye, and fall in love with them. The pictures of the sparrow ended up on the cover of Audubon. When the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service saw that, they went from allocating twenty dollars or $30,000 a year to about $1.3 million to try to turn things around for this bird. There's never been a better time to be alive if you want to save species because there's so many on the ropes. It's an excellent time to be alive because I can, we all can change things right now. There you go.